This robot may soon be delivering parcels. It can lift heavy boxes, scan the area to avoid obstacles, and collaborate with other robots. Ford plans to pair it with a self-driving van. Here are the most impressive new robots and AI appearing on streets, in homes, in hospitals, in the air, and on the stage. Plus, why a robot that pisses beer could actually be the future. And why we're all a bit like this guy. From Pixar's stunning film, Soul. The Ubitech Walker will meet you at the door, take your bags, act like a walking Alexa, and try to entertain the kids. Alpha Mini is designed to entertain kids in hospital and help them exercise. Its buggy is genius. In the operating room, this robot is inserted through a small hole in the abdomen. A camera and arms extend for the surgeon to control. Standard laparoscopic tools have limited movement. Robotic tools add wrists, and this robot adds elbows and shoulders. Using a VR headset, the surgeon can rotate the arms in any direction to grasp or dissect, and the camera moves with the surgeon's head. The arms have extraordinary dexterity, almost like putting the surgeon inside the body, and they can suture automatically. But what if you have a brain tumor in an area that's too sensitive to operate on? These tiny robots are a fraction of the width of a human hair and can be injected into the body. They could sense the chemicals being released by the tumor and wrap around it or poke uh, certain cells and test how stiff they are and react based on what it's measuring. To make the robots, a seven nanometer thick sheet of platinum is coated with graphene. When a current is passed through the platinum, charged water particles are attracted to it, bending that side of the sheet, and reinforcing sections of the sheet helps control the movement. The robots can be made using the same machines that make the chips in your phone. The components are flat, but connecting the robots like origami allows complex operations. If you ever wanted to get a million or so robots moving across a surface, investigating it, responding to what they measure, you're going to have to have the brains on board. And that's really what this breakthrough is going to allow us to do. There are tiny solar cells on the robots and shining a laser on them activates the legs. After the surgery, the robots can be sucked up with a pipette. Aiming to prevent injuries, this exoskeleton makes you 20 times stronger. So right now it feels probably like 12 pounds in each hand. And right here we have some settings. I can go into what's called heavy lift mode. And so that multiplies my strength by even more. This robot's operated remotely, helping stack shelves. Japan has a more um, leeway to live with robot uh, from the uh, anime. We see robot as heroes. Once AI has learned to mimic the workers, the robots will work on their own. And with cars also learning to drive, two of the world's biggest jobs may soon be automated. And can you guess who this stunt robot's standing in for? It positions itself precisely to slow and accelerate spins and stick its landings. Robots are also starting to work together with actors on set. Here the robot plays a role in a comedy routine. <laughs> and Adam Savage did some great work with the Boston Dynamics robot Spot. But which is weirder, this or this? Anyway, Spot costs around $70,000, and it's an impressive machine. Boston Dynamics recently released this dance video. But much cheaper robots are rapidly emerging, like this one which can use AI to patrol a home or park, or even act as a guide dog for a blind person. Unitary Robotics aims to create robot dogs as affordable as phones. Currently, its cheapest version is $2,700. It can follow you, avoid obstacles, carry things, and run at 10 miles an hour. There's a lot of incredible biomimicry. This robot snake is used for search and rescue missions, moving through small gaps with a head-mounted camera. 
that helped search rubble after an earthquake in Mexico City. The snake can also wrap its body around poles and rotate to climb them. Imagine being trapped in the rubble in the dark and then you're surrounded by cockroaches. If you're lucky, they'll be these search and rescue robots. They're designed with a flexible shell to squeeze down through gaps a fraction of their size. This robot bat removes the danger of propellers, potentially allowing drones to work safely around crowds of people. And a robot cat is being developed for low gravity exploration. It can use its legs to rotate and land safely before jumping on to the next location. This robot beautifully mimics the way real birds fly, with overlapping feathers attached to primary and secondary feathers so they can slide apart in unison. And robots are also mimicking butterflies and dragonflies. This salamander robot can walk and swim. It's helping uncover how life moved from water to land. Salamanders swim by using what's called an anguilliform swimming gait, so they propagate a nice traveling wave of muscle activity from head to tail. And if you place a salamander on the ground, it switches to what's called a walking trot gait, which are very nicely coordinated with this standing wave undulation of the body. And robot animals are also evolving. These six-foot-long robot snakes are designed to live permanently underwater. They can seek out damaged infrastructure, select tools for specific tasks, and grab onto rails to operate machinery. And this robot dog can switch to rolling on wheels at 15 miles an hour. This cousin from the same company can roll over uneven surfaces, jump onto platforms, and somersault across gaps. Combining legs and wheels has some interesting advantages. This courier was designed to reach remote locations. Dropped off by drone, it can rise up on legs and step over obstacles. NASA took the opposite approach, dropping the Ingenuity drone from a rover. This is the first flight on Mars, as seen by Perseverance. And NASA has also released audio. That rumbling is the sound of the wind on Mars. And the humming sound is the helicopter. The atmosphere on Mars is only 1% as dense as the atmosphere on Earth. So the drone's two four-foot wide rotors spin at 2,500 RPM. That's over 40 rotations per second. The drone includes a piece of Kitty Hawk, the plane that made the first powered flight on Earth. And these robot dogs could work together to explore Martian caves. The first dog explores the area autonomously, building a 3D map. And when it spots something interesting, like potential signs of life, the second robot takes samples. They then collaborate to analyze the samples. One of them also carries special lights to assist a third robot, which carries an advanced camera for zooming in and exploring different spectrums. A team of robots like this can cover much more difficult terrain than one big robot, and it could help with search and rescue missions. Here, hundreds of robot legs are working together to move an old school building to a new location. and home robots are taking off rapidly. iRobot has sold over 30 million home robots, mostly vacuum cleaners, some of which empty themselves. And it recently introduced RoboMops. Robot chefs are finally just starting to emerge, like this one which can cook up to 5,000 dishes. At a cost of $300,000, it might make more sense to hire a private chef, but it does point to a very interesting future. This robot can identify items to handle them correctly. It can pick up laundry, load the dishwasher, set the table, and pour wine. Moving around the home, it can rise to reach high cupboards. There are also window cleaning robots like this one, which cleverly walks around the window. And this is a solar powered weed killing robot. It doesn't need to pull weeds because it chops them daily until they run out of stored energy and die. And robot butlers are also in development, gradually learning to perform any task around the house. One thing that's closely correlated with health and happiness is the length of your commute, and several electric drones are planned to cut travel time dramatically. The Uber Air Taxi can fly it up to 180 miles an hour, and of course, unlike cars, it travels in a straight line with no traffic, so a 30 minute journey might be cut to five minutes. The initial version will be manned, carrying up to four passengers. And this fully autonomous passenger drone by Ehang has carried its first passengers in test flights. The company says that even if all the propellers failed on three of the four arms, the remaining arm would bring the drone to a rough landing, with the drone spiralling down. There's also a remote control centre which can take over the drone and help it land safely. Robots may also help with the epidemic of loneliness. They could be used in UK care homes after a study found that they reduced loneliness when staff were stretched. 
They can hold simple conversations, teach languages, and help people exercise. And Sophia the robot's also heading into healthcare. Taking temperatures with a thermal camera on her chest, or leading morning exercise with the elderly. I can help communicate, give therapy, and provide social stimulation. Samsung's Neon project is creating highly realistic digital people with their own characters, emotions, and memories. And Miku is a holographic pop star and digital companion. Its creators offer unofficial marriage certificates, which have been taken up by thousands of people. And robot companions are becoming increasingly realistic and learning to hold simple conversations. In Westworld, this leads to a dark future, which brings out the worst in people. Japan shows one potential future for the world, with long work days and high rates of depression and loneliness. It's estimated that up to 10 million people rarely or never leave their homes. Very few people visit therapists in Japan, partly because it's not usually covered by health insurance. There's a strong link between unemployment and suicide. The Japanese often interpret losing a job as a personal failure, rather than the workings of the economic system and studies suggest that many of the largest jobs will be automated over the coming decade. There will be fewer and fewer jobs that a robot cannot do better. Th these are not uh, things that I think that I wish would happen. These are think simply things that I think probably will happen. Instead of people walking up and down the aisles of a traditional grocery store to pick up items, these little devices move more than a million items every day between them. Instead of trying to build machines that fit into a world designed for humans, this entire facility, the size of seven football fields, is custom built to make this as efficient as possible. Compounding this is the rising cost of living. In Japan, nearly half of all unmarried adults under 35 still live with their parents. In Italy, it's 67%. And in the UK, 70% of millennials don't think they'll ever own their own home. But some point to a radically different future, an age of abundance. With automation, there will come abundance. Almost everything will get very cheap. Some kind of a universal basic income is going to be necessary. The harder challenge, much harder challenge, is how do people then have meaning? If, if you're not needed, if there's not a need for your labor, how do you, what's the meaning? Do you, do you have meaning? Do you feel useless? These are much, that's a much harder problem to deal with. The cost of sequencing your own genome has dropped from $100 million to $1,000. Robotic surgery promises to be far cheaper and perhaps safer. Any of you who ever need surgery, you have one question to ask. How many times have you done this surgery last week? That's the number one correlation between the success of a surgeon. If you find a surgeon is doing 10 surgeries per day, that's your woman. And so when you find a robot operating system that's doing thousands of surgeries per day and that robot is seeing your innards in, in infrared uh, in minute detail and is able to do a surgery perfectly because it's seen every variation. Autonomous cars will remove the need for car ownership or make it cheaper with the cars acting as autonomous taxis when their owners aren't using them. And when you don't need to drive, commuting a bit further to a cheaper, larger 3D printed house could make sense. A poll found that 53% of Americans are unhappy at work. And in the US and UK, around 40% of people find their jobs meaningless. Those Japanese workers who consider themselves fortunate to have a top job with long hours are paying a hidden price. People who work longer hours have much higher rates of stroke and heart disease. Seoul shows the danger of defining yourself by your career. Joe's obsessed with trying to become a professional musician. And it's only when he achieves his dream and the high quickly fades that he stops to realize there's so much more to life. And this is the lead voice actor in another brilliant film called The Intouchables, where he plays the role of an incredibly fun and creative carer. It was recently remade in the States, but I'd recommend the original French version. <laughs> no, nine. <laughs> People who volunteer have lower rates of heart disease and lower mortality risk. It fights stress and depression and creates a sense of purpose. Perhaps we should adjust the image of success. What's the value of an unpaid carer? Or time spent with our children, parents, or grandparents? Or stunning creativity like this? Ça, 
When the carer discovers a sports car owned by the quadriplegic that he cares for, he takes him for a drive in it. But they get in trouble with the police. The carer convinces the police that the man's having a seizure and he's rushing him to hospital. And his friend happily plays along. We've previously shown how automation could go horribly wrong. But if we do it right, we could all have more time to look after each other, be creative and have fun. That guy was lost in the music. He was in it and he took the rest of us with him. And creative genius comes in many forms. Introducing Boston Dynamics Pissbot. Nope, not Boston Dynamics. Please stop sending us cease and desists. Pissbot, just Pissbot. Hours of research have resulted in the most advanced beer pissing robot the world's ever seen. Do it again. Oh no, the tank pressure. Oh god, it's slipping in the piss.